nice to see you guys again welcome back to my channel in this episode I will be unboxing the new Vortex Spark 2 which I just received yesterday I bought it from primary arms I think they were the first ones who had them it was 199 plus shipping so I think I paid about less than 210 if you wait for a few months the price I'm sure will be so much cheaper just like the spark the first generation spark when it was released all right let's open this up mistaken I think here M point T1 or H1 using the same battery I'm not sure if it's using one battery and the other one for spare or maybe use them both we'll get it get that to that later Spark 2 okay. and some mounting hardware. Right. Some short screws, some long ones. Okay, Adam Wrench. the top Allen range okay all right the difference between this second generation and the first one they have relocated the power the power button which was from the side here okay this is my first generation See how they put the power button on the side they have moved it integrated to the power up so i believe if we if you press once it will power on and then use the up or down to adjust the brightness and you have to hold it four or five seconds to turn it off and it comes with the uh, the lens caps very nice as nice as the uh, um, the Butler Creek brand I think very nice easy to open easy to close spring loaded I'm not sure if we can 
remove the uh... oh yes you can if you there you go it doesn't have any thread or anything so basically just there you go this I believe the same thing at the rear one okay this is the uh, vintage adjustment this is the uh, elevation I think or maybe the other way around I'm sorry I believe so see the guidebook just to be sure yeah I'm right excuse me forgive me for that and this is the battery compartment let's, let's open it up nice and tight easy to open one battery let's put on this battery it's very nice of Vortex to include one spare battery appreciate that I'm not sure. I forgot if I receive one or two batteries when I got my spark one but it's not a big deal nice and tight there you go ok I'll get back to you later guys I will mount the hardware I mean the riser real soon I'll be back thank you welcome back guys Sorry for the wait. All right, I have just installed the um, the high rise mount so that it will give me an obsolete co witness. I always run my sides, my red dot sides, obsolete co witness. I just don't know why I'm not used or I don't like the um, <coughs> excuse me the lower one third. Well, either way, we will give you the same, the same thing. I mean, it's just self-preference, you know, lower wanted and obs or obsolete, doesn't matter. If you want the lower wanted for witness, so you have to install this spacer between the spark to in the high mount yeah. it will be like place in between they also include the short screw or the long screws the long one to be used when you're using this between the spark to and the high mount all right Speaking of the of the mount, I mean the, the high rise thing, high riser. They're the same rise, which they include on the previous generation to spark. They're both the same. I believe the uh, spacer or the low mount the same too okay. for the size okay let's remove this landscape okay for the size they are the same basically the same the height 
the same too. One second. I'm looking at my laptop for an exact physical dimension between them two. difference is the spark to the length and on, the, on its website it says 3.1 inch well the first one is 3 inch so the second generation is slightly longer and it will looks much longer if we use the cap the lens cap okay and this is my micro this is my endpoint D1 right. the D1 is much smaller for the weight it's about the same, roughly. See, not, not much difference. The main difference is the price. I got this T1 and the American Defense Mount, I think it's about less than. 650 ship. I forgot where do I where did I get it from? This is 199 and this one the spark is I, I believe I got it for 150 or 160 from Palmetto State Armory and I think they have it on special for 140 plus free shipping for current promotion they have right now is free shipping okay let's turn it on oh, by the way they both these three red dot side they have two MOE two MOE two MOE two MOE MOE which is minutes of angle. Let's turn it on. I think just have to press one. There you go. I will turn up the bright the brightness so that you can see. There you go. Sorry. Not sure if you can see it. There you go. The lens very clear, and the uh, the dots very bright, very good, as good as the uh, the previous generation. Right. Let's turn it off. Turn it up again. Right to. To turn it off, you have to hold the up button for a few seconds. There you go, it's off. As we as we all know that, and the, one of the reason, one of the biggest reasons they move, they relocated the power button from the side because. Some people complain that while the driver, while while the rifle is on the inside the case, it might accidentally turn on the power, which may drain the battery. But this new spark to one of the features it has 
it has like automatically power off after eight hours of inactivity you know I like it the design is very solid not you know have a good decent weight just like this part plus it has the logo I like I like logos you know Let me bring my scale. Okay. Let's we start from the first generation of the spark. Six point eight ounce. Okay. Using the same height of the riser the same weight well be the same 6.8 7 6.8 well if you put on the caps the lens cap it will be 7.4 ounce and if you're using it as a lower wanted co witness or wanted co witness it will be 8 ounces So without the caps and the riser, I mean the spacer, it might save you another ounce or so. Okay, this is the end point D1, 5.6. With a better riser, quick detach, well, you get what you paid for, you know. Alright, I will be putting this new Spark 2 on my SBR, which I just remodel tomorrow morning. I'll bring it up to shoot on the desert and hopefully I can upload the video by tomorrow night or so. Stay tuned. See you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you. Good night.